Hey, this is Dr. Barry. In this quick video, let's discuss migraine headaches and the ultimate natural prevention for migraine headaches. Now, if you suffer from migraine headaches, you realize this is a big deal. If you could prevent your migraine headaches from happening, that would be awesome. And if you could do it naturally, all the better. Millions of people suffer from migraine headaches. Some people suffer from one a week or for a month, I mean, it really can be terrible. It can be almost debilitating if you have these severe migraines often enough that you have to go to bed, that you lose a day of work. I mean, it can cost you your job. It can really affect your life. Millions of dollars are spent every year in the U.S. on medications, on prescriptions to prevent migraine headaches. So if we could prevent these naturally, that would be a big deal. Now, if you know someone who suffers from migraine headaches, please share this video with them. Share it, send them an email, send them a text message, share it on their Facebook. Help me get this message out so that people can save money and save the days that would have been lost with a severe migraine headache. So let's talk about migraines for just a second, and then we'll jump right into the natural ways you can prevent migraine headaches. So migraine headaches are caused really by three things. There absolutely is a genetic component. If your parent, one parent has migraines, then you have a 40% chance of having migraines. If both parents suffer from migraines, then you have an even higher percentage chance of having migraine headaches. But I want you to change the way you think about migraines. Migraines are not really something you have. Migraines are something that you cause. And I'm not saying you cause them on purpose, but many, many things in our lives are our fault, even though we're not aware that we caused them, right? Migraine headaches are one of those things. I used to have severe, severe migraine headaches as a teenager and a, and a 20 something until I figured out it was my diet and it was, it was my deficiencies that I was having. And now I maybe have one very, very mild migraine headache a year. It's not a big deal. I can cope with it, uh, with a little something and it's nothing I move right on. It doesn't even cost me a day. And so let me tell you how I have prevented migraine headaches in myself and in hundreds of my patients. So let's talk about the ultimate migraine prevention. Here's exactly what I did and what all my patients do so that they don't have these debilitating migraine headaches. Number one, you need to eat a whole food ketogenic diet. You need to eat whole foods. You need to eat as organic as you can afford. And what this basically removes from your diet, <clears throat> it removes all grains. So you're not eating any grains. Grains are very inflammatory, and when something inflames your gut, it can wind up inflaming the lining of your brain or certain parts of your brain, which can lead to a migraine headache. I eliminated all dairy, liquid dairy, from my diet. Now the only dairy I ever consume are full-fat cheeses, ghee, butter, and every now and then a little heavy cream. But as far as drinking a glass of milk, I used to be a milk baby. I used to drink a gallon of milk a day when I played football in high school. Now I never, ever, ever drink milk. So you got to eat keto. You got to get the grains out of your diet. You got to get the processed crap out of your diet. You got to get the liquid dairy out of your diet. You've got to get vegetable oils, which don't really contain vegetables. They are very inflammatory to your gut. And then we're right back to if your gut's inflamed, other parts of you, including parts of your brain, can be inflamed. So step one is you got to clean up your diet. And I know you're like, what? Come on, man. Really? Yeah. No, seriously. If you have a chronically inflamed gut and body, you're going to you're gonna be much more likely to have migraine headaches. Trust me, I know from personal experience. Number two, almost every person in the U.S. is deficient in magnesium. It's really hard to check for in the lab, but it's true. OK, if you and so if you're having chronic migraines with any frequency, then you need to get a magnesium supplement. Probably now, if you can get enough extra magnesium in your diet by eating certain high magnesium foods, I'm all for that. That's excellent. But if you can't or if you just rather take a magnesium supplement, I think that's infinitely better than taking a daily expensive side effect fraught prescription medication. Most people need anywhere from three. 300 milligrams of magnesium to up to 1,000 milligrams of magnesium at bedtime. And the reason you take it at bedtime is because for some people, magnesium makes them sleepy. And so if it does help you sleep, there's no extra charge for that, right? 
If you tend to be constipated, then you want to get a magnesium like magnesium citrate. If you don't have any problems with constipation whatsoever, then a magnesium like magnesium malate is probably what you need to go for. But I would always take my magnesium at bedtime so that you don't have drowsiness during the day. Number three, many, many people find that if they take a supplement of coenzyme Q10, their migraines get much, much better. And so I recommend anywhere from 200 to 400 milligrams of CoQ10 a day. You can take it at any time during the day. It doesn't make you drowsy. But this many, many times helps with inflammation. It helps with mitochondrial health and strength, and it prevents migraines. Okay. Now, step number four is just for the ladies. If you're a woman and you have premenstrual migraines or, or migraines that hit you during a certain time of your cycle each month, then I have found that a low dose of compounded bioidentical progesterone at bedtime almost eliminates these. And so for most women, anywhere from 25 to 50 milligrams of a compounded progesterone, which you can get with a prescription, you'll have to see a doctor who knows about this kind of stuff. And so what I want you to do is to follow these from the top down. First and foremost, eat keto. Many, many people, when they go keto, their migraines go away. And so if that works, boom, you're done. That's all you have to do is keep eating keto and your migraine problem is solved. If that doesn't do the trick, then you're going to add number two, the magnesium supplement, and you're going to do keto and magnesium. If that solves it, boom, you're done. If that doesn't quite do it, then you add the CoQ10. And then with those three together, that's still much, much cheaper than any of the prescription preventatives. It works much more reliably and it has virtually no side effects, especially compared to some of the prescription medications that you have to take every day that can have pretty profound side effects in people who suffer from severe debilitating migraines. And then for the women, if you've tried all three of those first and you're still having period-related migraines or cycle-related migraines, you can add the compounded bioidentical progesterone now, uh, progesterone and I'm not talking about the prescription progestin that comes from the big pharmaceutical houses that's not real progesterone it's pseudo progesterone and that's not what you want at all okay so I don't want you to start with the supplements first I want you to start with the diet first fix your diet then if that doesn't work you go to step two step three and ultimately if you're a woman step four now if you enjoyed this video and you'd like to see others like it please consider subscribing to my channel and click the little bell right beside the subscribe button so every time I get a bright idea you'll be one of the very first to know. If some of my videos have really helped your health and you'd like to join me in the fight against childhood type 2 diabetes, obesity, insulin resistance, and chronic migraines in the U.S. and in the world, then click on my Patreon link right down below. You can sign up quickly and you can throw a buck or two my way to help me join in the fight against chronic disease in the U.S. and in the world. This is Dr. Barry. I'll see you next time.